Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hi everyone, I got a surprise for you today. MashaAllah, today is a wonderful day. But before I reveal the surprise to you, let me introduce to you Brother Jude here. Brother Jude, maybe you can share with us a bit about yourself, your name, your age and your background. Hi everyone, my name is Jude. I'm 29 years old and I'm a Chinese. Previously, I was a Christian. I brought up in church for 25 to 26 years. I used to attend Sunday service, Bible study, a Friday prayer group, mostly singing songs, praise and worship. Maybe a short sermon here and short sermon only. Alhamdulillah. Thanks for sharing that. So, honestly, what made you attracted to Islam? The the way the Muslims practice their faith, listening to the Holy Quran or so when they recite the Holy Quran. How different is that from you before when you were Christian and now when you hear the Quran? What is the difference that made you like to follow Islam? And, uh, the words and the meaning behind it, it resonated with my heart. Uh. So the way they practice uh, fo fully focus on on, on their goal. Uh. What about the restrictions in Islam? Some people say that we cannot eat any other food but a halal food only. We have to pray five times a day and it's quite an uh, issue because of interrupts your daily activities and all that. For those restrictions, do you have any issues with them? And if not, why? Restrictions are good uh, because... Yeah, it, it disrupts our daily daily routine, daily work. Mm -hmm. But at least there is some guidance for you. You don't get lost. And you know that there is someone guiding you. Like there's a correct way to go. La. Just to add on to his point, but Brother Jude is also saying is that guidance is in some way they draw boundaries. They tell you what you can do, what you cannot do, what is right and what is wrong. Just like on the road when you're driving, there's traffic signs whether it should go green or red when you stop turn left or turn right imagine if you don't have these signs this guidance then when you're supposed to turn right you turn left and there's an accident <laughs> happen right so it's the same thing what brother jude is basically saying is although these restrictions in islam might sound hard for you to adopt in your life but they are actually good for you because they guide you to the straight path the right path is that what you're trying to say yes that is what i'm trying to say right? What about people say that you embrace Islam because you are just interested to get married with someone? Are you doing this for marriage? Mm, no, I'm not doing this for marriage. Uh. Curious, are you single? <laughs> uh, yes, yes, I'm still single. Okay, alhamdulillah. Okay, so inshallah, may Allah bless you with a pious spouse that is meant for you to bring you to Jannah as well, inshallah. So brothers and sisters, you know that he's not here because of marriage. He's here because he truly believes in Islam. So before we continue, is anybody forcing you to be here today and to do this video and to do your shahada? No, nobody is forcing me. It's on my own free view. Alhamdulillah. We are not supposed to do so in Islam because in Islam, we have this verse in the Quran, like Rok Fit Din, basically it means there's no compulsion in embracing Islam. So as Muslims, we believe we do not have the power to convert someone. We can only guide them to the message, the truth. And inshallah, if their heart is open to it, they resonate with the words of Allah, they come to embrace Islam. Mashallah. So one more time to confirm, nobody's forcing you, right? No, no one's forcing me. Alhamdulillah. So, would you like to take your shahada now? Yes. Alhamdulillah. Okay, so uh, before we begin, do you know the words of the shahada yourself? Mm, yeah. Okay, but I mean, it's for easy context, right? So that everybody know the words that you're saying clearly. I. I. And your full name? Lim Yijian Jude. Hereby. Hereby. Denounce whatever past faith I had before. Denounce whatever past faith I had before. And hereby, and hereby, embrace Islam, embrace Islam, on my own free will, of my own free will. Ashhadu, Ashhadu, Allah, Allah, Ilaha, Ilaha, Illallah, Illallah, Wa Ashhadu, 
وأشهدوا أن أن محمد محمد رسول الله رسول الله and that in English means I I bear witness that bear witness that there's no God but Allah there is no God but Allah and I and I bear witness that bear witness that Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam Muhammad peace and blessings be upon you is his messenger is his messenger takbir Allahu akbar Allahu akbar Allahu akbar okay alhamdulillah are you happy <laughs> Yes, I'm okay. happy. <laughs> how do you how do you feel right now after you have <laughs> embraced Islam? My soul is more at ease. Mashallah, it just brings me back to the time when I first embraced Islam, taking my shahada. Brother Jude just mentioned that his soul now felt more at ease. Is there a sense of peace in your heart now? Yes. Alhamdulillah, they say that when you embrace Islam, all your past sins are washed and forgiven. You're a newborn baby. And immediately, the rahmah of Allah, you can feel coming down into your heart and soul. Welcome to Islam and the whole brotherhood here and all of us as a family. So, Alhamdulillah, give, I'm going to give you a hug, brother. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Thank you so much for being here to allow us to do this recording so that one is to share with people that we have a new brother in Islam to inspire everyone to hear his story how he come to see Islam as the truth is that resonates with him and mashallah you know if we if you need any guidance or help you know, we can provide you the context and all the content and that's all I have to say so inshallah we'll see you for umrah one day okay i mean okay assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh